Here's the spacer. Now. Tap, and it comes. There we go. The number of shims they put in varies. So it might have one shim, it might have no shims. It's stuck to the magnet, and if you slide it, it will come off. Place in hot water at about 50 degrees to warm this up. In fact, use the old bearing as well. That's all the way in, turns freely. The shaft should slide through sort of three quarters of the bearing. <coughs> it's actually stepped, well not very much. And then what we'll do is put the shim and the spacer over the shaft because they will walk out of the way. That goes in there, easy enough. Sits on. Now that's sitting on the motor, not on the bearing. And then we can put the shim. You've got to be careful, and you can feel it trying to pull itself out of the way. But if you actually get it in the middle like that, it will stay there. that the sound changes. And the bearings turn freely, but you can't. They are actually tight on the um, spacer at the moment. Mm -hmm. So if that, if you'd put that in the spacer hadn't been in the middle, it would have uh, not pushed it through. And it's really, and it is really, it's a really soft spacer. So you can't knock it either. You just end up ruining the spacer or having to change the bearings again. So be careful and keep them in line. If you can support the middle of the bearing, there is probably nothing to stop you just knocking this in from the other side, but it's a lot less harsh on the bearings doing it this way, albeit it is quite tight. And now the flange is pulled up against the bearing, it's tight.
Smooth. 